it's hard to prevent someone from shooting into a crowd where they don't care. The investigation into a downtown shooting that injured three continues. But first tonight, it's six more strong words from the mayor on the route of the violence that struck downtown. Police now believe bullets flew after a dispute between two of the victims and the suspect. That altercation unfolding just after 1 a.m. Saturday as Madison's busy bar scene spilled out onto University Avenue. Police say they're looking for several persons of interest, but they have yet to make any arrests. News 3's Theo Keith has been covering the story since it broke early Saturday morning. He's got the latest. He is live in downtown Madison. Theo. Eric, for the second time in less than a week, Mayor Paul Soglin is condemning the recent outbreak of gun violence in the city. He says what happened Saturday morning, the uh, what amounts to a downtown shootout, didn't start there, but instead in troubled neighborhoods. The plan to fix it isn't clear, but Soglin's message sure is. And I guess if there's one message I have for these folks is we are going to win, you are going to lose, and you might as well get out of town now or change your behavior. The mayor says the city needs to change too in the aftermath of Saturday's shooting. He'll ask council for $50,000 more to fund additional police presence on the weekends. And he says it's time to ban panhandling and loitering downtown. This is a matter that's been growing for a number of years. And we are not going to solve it in a couple of weeks or even a couple of months. He says the city can't do it alone. He called out the school district and the county, which holds the purse strings for social services. As for the weekend shooting, police say they still need leads. Folks, I'm sure, who were a block away didn't even know what happened, but some of the people we're interested in identifying probably ran right past them. Police spokesman Joel Despain says still no suspects and no arrests after a citywide problem became a problem for a crowded bar district. But they're going to go out and try to have their own street justice, not rely on the police, not provide us with good information. And we need to weed those people out of this community and let people know that we're not going to tolerate that. And while this shooting wasn't random, we've learned the third victim was Madison Memorial student athlete Jamar Morris. And police say he was simply in the wrong place at the wrong time. A fourth person walked away from the scene, leaving a blood trail. That person has not uh, come to any hospitals, certainly uh, no identification of themselves, so police don't know if that person was a victim or a shooter. Big picture now, Soglin says good people in troubled neighborhoods need to start policing themselves, and basically, he says, they have a responsibility. Neighborhood residents, essentially, he says, have to say no to violence. Eric? All right, Theo, downtown, he is live tonight. Thank you very much.